James Lynch here with MMA Oddsbreaker. I'm here with Jeremy Kennedy, UFC featherweight fighter. Last time you and I spoke, uh, you were talking about uh, you know a fight with Artem Lobov and all these things. Uh, has there been any headway, any any word on an opponent yet? Oh man, yeah, there's lots going on there. Um, yeah, I'm still kind of waiting. Like I, I just want an opponent and I want a date and I want a venue and everything, but it's, that's not the way it works, right? So uh, I switched managements. I'm with uh, first round management now. Oh, excellent. So hopefully things can move pretty quick here, and uh, it's looking like. December in Toronto, and then, if not that, somewhere in January. And you and I were speaking. Uh, you were trying to get on that Portland card. Uh, what happened there? You were, you were trying to get on that fight with uh, was it Hacker and Diaz, I think. Yeah, I was trying to take that short notice fight. But, again, with the visas, with me being Canadian, it's going to be hard to get short notice fights like a lot of guys do in the States. So I never really thought about that. But now, yeah, like I'm I'm international fighter with all those States guys. So any, like, short notice fight is going to have to be, you know, Canadian, which doesn't happen too often so not not the best luck for me but what are some things you've been working on in camp recently you know you don't have a, an opponent lined up but how do you sort of keep the tools sharp so to speak just getting everybody ready you know jamie's up next we we had justin daly just fight and then jared rebel just fought last weekend and i was cornering him at king of the cage so i mean it's just uh, there's always a reason to be in the gym i'm getting better and uh helping guys get ready and uh, I've, I've been working on a few different things some stand-up footwork stuff and uh I want to have a little bit more elusiveness rather than, you know, plodding forward and uh, been working with my striking coach a lot on that and some other stuff I don't want to say, but yeah. Yeah, some other stuff. So. Can't, can't give away the trade yeah. secrets, as they say. Um, as far as, um, you know, your next opponent and things like that, like, I guess you just have to stay ready in case something happens, but you're sort of eyeing uh, the Toronto card in December? Yeah, like, that's that's the thing. I'm, that short notice Hacker and Diaz fight really helped me realize, like, I got to be ready to go at any time, mm-hmm. you know, so that's another reason to always stay in the gym you know so it's and it's a lifestyle so um yeah anything that comes up i'm gonna jump all over because i'll be ready but if not i'm i'm looking for december they've already gave me the okay that i am a, officially a featherweight so oh, that's good yeah I'm, that's uh i'm the first and only well not first but i'm the only canadian featherweight right now in the ufc so that's good excellent uh ideal opponent who would you like to fight in toronto if you could pick one off the roster not calling anyone out but you know i'm sure you have your eye on someone yeah, I mean, I still want that Artem Lobo fight, you know, and then uh, and Charles Rosa was kind of he was he was getting in there as well on that Twitter. So, I mean, if he wants it too, I'll, I'd like that. And I mean, I was looking at once they said I was a featherweight, I went down the roster and really looked at everybody, and I was, there's nobody there that. I mean, I would be like, I wouldn't want to fight all of those guys. I think I match up great with. You mentioned Charles Rosa. Uh, he wanted the Lobov fight. I know you both kind of got into it. It seemed like he was more after Lobov than going after you, per se. But uh, how do you sort of see a fight with you and Rosa playing out? Because he doesn't have an opponent. He hasn't fought since the beginning of the year. Yeah, I mean, he was just kind of butted in. I think he was trying to steal the same fight. He saw what I was. He saw what I saw. You know, uh, Lobov didn't really deserve to be there. But, um, yeah, Rosa, he, he's good. He's awkward. He's a little different. I was, watched some footage of him. I hadn't really seen anything of him before that. And then even watching him there, and then I saw the Kyle Bochniak fight, I was like, hey, that's a fight I could fight as well. Like, that guy's a great fight for me too, you know, and he, he fought the same night as I did, so I don't see why we can't even set that up. He won against uh, Barzola. Yes. So, I mean, that's another guy right there, Kyle Bochniak. You know, it's entry-level guys, you know. I think those are the type of fights I'm going to be getting. Guys with, you know, two, three fights in the UFC. And I, like I said, I think I match up great with all those guys. So. Well, Charles Rose is a Boston Bruins fan. You're from Vancouver. Canucks and Bruins fans don't get along. Does that sort of add more motivation to, that, to get that fight? <laughs> yeah, I see it like it makes sense, you know. I mean, and he like, yeah, like you said, he's not booked. I mean, there's a lot of guys that are booked that I was looking at that I wanted to fight. And I, I heard from my management that Artem is kind of paired up with somebody. I didn't know who, but so, I mean, that's kind of off the table right now. And so, yeah, if it's Charles Rosa, that's good. Kyle Bochniak, it's good. Even uh, Dan Hooker, he was, he was calling for a guy in uh, Melbourne. So November 27th, I could do that. I'll be ready for that as well. So I think that's, that's a good fight for me as well. So it's any one of those guys, man. And even if it's not them, anybody. I just want something booked. Let's talk about the division here. Uh, Conor McGregor is now fighting Eddie Alvarez. Uh, Jose Aldo apparently wants to leave the UFC. I don't know if you heard about this. Um, what are your thoughts on the division right now? It seems like you're in at a good time because there's going to be a lot of influx. Yeah, there's... Uh, I don't know. It's kind of in shambles right now. I think Connor's got to either got to give it up or defend it. That's mm-hmm. that's ideal. And although I think he should stick around, but if he doesn't, that's all good. So uh, I mean, I'm here now. So <laughs> absolutely. All right. Last question for you here. Uh, what are you watching on Netflix right now? What's something that's uh, really kind of kind of keeping you interested at the moment? Uh, I'm back. Now I'm. I finished Bloodlines and I'm on uh, Stranger Things. Okay. You know, and then uh, 
Narcos 2 is, is also is what, what I'm going with right now. Do you get much time in to watch? Because, you know, you're not in, a, in an actual training camp. I mean, you're training and everything. But do you get more time to do that stuff, or is it still the same schedule? Yo, now, now that I'm back teaching full-time, I'm, yeah. uh, I'm slowed down on my Netflix. But I still, you know, come home to a Narcos episode or two. <laughs> there he is, Jeremy Kennedy, UFC featherweight, uh, officially UFC featherweight. Yeah. Keep your eye out. Uh, December in Toronto. Hopefully we'll see him on that card. This is James Lynch for MMA Oddsbreaker.